Hello YouTube fans, here again. So I've been away for a bit, but you know what it is when you're busy, busy, busy. But now I thought I'd talk about a tacit horror film from the 80s, as I'm on the 80s marathon. That being Nightmares in a Damaged Brain. Say it again, Nightmares in a Damaged Brain. This film had two titles. I remember rightly, in America it was just called Nightmares. And in the UK, it was called Nightmares in the Damaged Brain. And in 82, yep, it was a video master. With an interesting bit of history thrown into it too, I may add. So it starts off, you've got this guy, he has this weird nightmare of this woman who's been beheaded. It kind of reminds me a little bit of what you probably see in Tacits, let's say like Reanimator, or many of the Reanimator films. That kind of does jaff it seen, blood everywhere, have you ever seen a tailor? Which is nightmares in the damaged brain, you see a woman's head beheaded and the eyes are shut and they open up. It's from this film. So it's a nightmare and then it starts off, music's a bit jeery, and then you've got the die idea, it's dives on the heads. So it's sort of like suspenseful and it's sort of really juicy. Now, I do remember, you now can get it on DVD in this concert. It's there. I say it again, it's there. But the uncut one, um, it's definitely got a bit more meat to the bone. It's definitely juicy when it wants to be, and it's definitely graphic when it wants to be, right? So, you've got this guy, he's on the edge, he's going to sex places, you know, where you get women stepping off and talking dirty and all that. And every two minutes, every two minutes, he has like a, a panic attack. There's even a good bit where he's folding from the mouth, good practical effect, and so on, right? Um, you've got this family, right? You've got this annoying kid, the most annoying fucking kid going. He's forever playing pranks on people, right? You've got this woman, and she's a child minder. I think she's a child minder. And he's forever playing pranks on her. And I'm thinking, this is stupid now not to know it. it's this kid. Really annoying kid, you know, your typical bratty kid. And you've got the satiatist who's looking for the die. There's a very good graphic juice and death in it. It's one where a dude gets a throat and an uncut one, so it's a lot more graphic and so on. Uh, but there's one where a lot of people might remember him getting this dirt right? And so tied up. You don't see her get murdered, but you see the after socks. And you've got the idea he kills a kid. Have to say it's professionally done, you don't actually see the murder, you get the sound effects. But it always makes me laugh this. It always makes me laugh because the cop brings the kid in to see his mate, who's a little kid who's been murdered. And I'm thinking, in real life, that wouldn't happen. In real life, a cop or a, a detective or anyone like that, or a sergeant, isn't going to show a kid another dead kid. You wouldn't do that. It's not professional. You just wouldn't do that. Is this your mate? Is this your mate? What was you doing in this house? And the acting. Fuck it, I'll do it. The acting's this. And it's just, in real life, I just thought that bit was laughable. Because in real life, that would not happen. You would not sell a kid, another dead kid, even your mate. You wouldn't do that. He's a kid. You'd fuck him up for life. See his mate lying there, dead. The mother's a bit annoying. All the way through the film, she's steaming and going on. So the acting's... Not the best acting. And this kid, he's like, every two minutes he's playing pranks. There's a bit where he's pretending to be all cut up and you find out it's the martyr tets up. Muffer's steaming like a fucking knob. But the best thing of all is, um, at the, near at the end, the killer comes in and he kills someone. Again, on the uncut one, a lot more meat to the feds, a lot more juice on. And it kind of reminds me of my bloody father time. In that film, which was this bit where the film's deteriorated when it gets to a really good do some bit. So it kind of reminds me of my bloody father time in that sense. So he's, the killer's got this weird mask on. And he's aiming to kill the kid. The kid gets a done. How he uses a sock done is America. He's a fucking kid. It was knocked him on his ass. But he gets a better shot and he shoots him and he dies. But then you get fast bats of the killer. You've got the idea the killer is um, the, the lad's father because the mother's married to a stepdad, right? Well, you know, foster father, whatever you want to call him. And it's those fast bats of him as a kid. And you've got the idea that um, his dad was having it away with some prostitute or a hooker. 
and there's a date scene, proper meat to the feds. The kid gets an axe, cuts the woman's head off, exactly you see it on the uncut one, and he says, naughty dad, naughty. Rams an axe on the father's forehead, blood just comes dusting out, beautiful. Best on the uncut one, and the kid's got tired and blood all over him. Now there was rumours at the time that did John Safini do the effects and John Safini always denied it but there was a real still photo, I shit you not, of John Safina. and yeah what he did, he admitted that he directed and sold the special effect people how to do the effects. It's not a fans, it's not a bad film but it's not a date film in the acting, he didn't do it for blood and door, I would say get the uncut one. And I'll tell you the history of it being a video nasty. There was a censored one, right, and a guy worked in a video shop. He was a day went to videos. And he managed to get the uncut version, which you can now probably find, probably on YouTube, as I saw it. And um, the police got ring that he, was, he had the FE uncut version, and they actually put him in prison for so many days. I'm not shit, you know, this guy in a video shop, Venable video shop was put in prison for so many days for selling the movie Nightmare in the Damaged Brain. And I'm thinking, you know what, a person pushing drugs, a fucking rapist or whatever, would probably get less than what he got. Which I think was disgusting. Because at the end of the day, whether it's a do some other movie or not, it's only a fucking movie by the end of the day. It is only a movie that is fucking doing prison just for selling their own cut version. Oh. Apart from touching my dog up, because it won't stop barking. It's not barking. Right? So, yeah, this poor guy in a video rentable shop, he um did bird, went to piss him, just to sell him a flipping uncut version of Nightmares in a Damaged Brain, which is ironic, because the guy who was doing the, they offended the rights on the Evil Dead, when that was a video nasty, and they won. But this guy, just to sell him, an uncut version of Nightmares in a Damaged Brain went to fucking prison for so many days. But it is what it is. But yeah, Nightmares in a Damaged Brain or Nightmares, it's not a bad film. If you're looking for Austin Worthy acting, you're not going to get it. You can definitely see it's done on the cheap. But if you're into it for Blood and Door, check the uncut one. It's definitely a good film in the expense, the psychological nurse. You get that idea, it's a die. He's basically had a nervous breakdown. I and mean, he's a psycho. Um, but yeah, not a bad one. Check it out. 1981, date of 82, it was a video nasty. That's nightmares and a damaged brain. Into them. Be smart, be safe. There's more movies, more movie reviews. But into them. See you later.